wondered when this day was going to happen. <laughs> I think in all honesty, some of you did as well. You've known Susanna an awful long time, and Anne and I were beginning to think, well, perhaps it might not. Perhaps she's happy and content. <laughs> However, one Saturday afternoon, I'm sitting there watching, I think it was a rugby on the TV. Uh, Susanna and Lee had gone away for a weekend. I get his phone call, three o'clock. Malcolm, I have a favor to ask you. Well, that was normally something to do with babysitting, <laughs> something else to do with the house, the plumbing. <laughs> and then he said, I would like to ask Susanna to marry me. I was absolutely over the moon. I rang Anne and said, you never guess what, and she didn't guess neither. <laughs> and of course, she was absolutely delighted. My son Richard will take all the credit for this. He says he's responsible because he introduced them, or sorry, made them get together again. Now you gentlemen sitting here might not believe this, Lee has fancied Susanna for quite a long time. And allegedly, he was in a nightclub and Suze was there. And after a few WKDs, followed by uh, a few shots of taboo, remember that? Yeah. I plucked at the courage to ask her out. I even told my mates that I was going to go over what a confident young man I was. Idiot, more like. I did go over, but managed to simply say, hello. How are you? Are you having a good night? Great. OK. See ya. Crashed and burned in front of my mates. Too. Then, quite recently, three years ago or so, Richard was, because Lee and Richard played football, as you know, and Richard said, typically Richard, why don't you ask my sister for a date? Which he did. Now, I can't believe he was shy the first time, but you people know him better than I do when he was younger. And the rest is history, as they say. Now, deliberately, I've left my wife. <laughs> Until last, as I wanted to tell you in front of all these people how proud I am to be your husband, how I've never met anyone quite like you. The most caring, thoughtful, loving person I've met, and also beautiful, as you can all see today, doesn't it? Seriously. I know everyone says this, but I have told the women speak around the room. When I saw her a little bit earlier, I looked at myself and thought, I probably could have probably do. Better here. It has taken a bloody long time to get married. Sometimes I thought, am I being too fussy? Or who would possibly be stupid enough to marry me? Either way, I'm glad I waited as now I have someone who picks me up when I'm down, who understands me like no one else. You're also the best mother in the world, and I have to work bloody hard to keep her with you as well. The world multitasking was amazing for you. Another thing that I am in awe of is how you always put others first, and you think it's too much trouble. Anyone who knows or is close to you will have this. I can't imagine what it would be like without you in my life, which is why I'm tying you down today. <laughs> I love you very much. I love you.